this is a new video from other thoughts in this video um, i'm going to uh, answer a question that uh, most of people are uh, asking me all the time um, because i'm a trainer of Udo. Um, they ask me what is the best way to start with Udo. okay Udo is um, a framework i mean I mean in the development it's a development framework um, it comes with many um, application ready-made applications um, and of course if it has its Python uh, it has its own ORM it has all uh, its own uh, templates using XML templates so you can think about Django as a good start with Udo all the time you can learn about Udo but start with Django because of the similarities between both frameworks like let's say uh, in Udo you will start with scaffold but in Django you have start app you have um, this RM like creating new fields even the syntax is, is very similar in Udo too so if you started with Django you will get benefit of these similarities and of course you can think about uh, that Django will help you to go deeper um, inside the, the concepts in Udo you just create the menu, you have the, the action, the, the views, form view, to review, and so on. Um, you just set, uh, let's say, some constraints and, and, and much more details. Okay, but let's say in Udo, um, I'm sorry, in Django, you have this URL configuration. So, if you started with Django, you will keep in mind that there, there are uh, some ways to implement URLs. You will think about URLs. You will think about how to build the UI from scratch. You will think about JavaScript all the time. You will think about uh, front-end uh, uh, front uh, frameworks like Bootstrap, uh, jQuery, and, and so on. All of these tools, you will, you will keep it in, in your mind all the time. Um, so, starting with Django will help you to go deeper after the code understand how to you know get these modules like authentication modules like uh, these uh, uh, parts get together to have something work uh, but in Udo everything almost is uh, is ready so you will never think about JavaScript uh, for the backend it's not easy I mean I mean that it's not easy to get in touch with uh, JavaScript for the backend uh, you will never think about this um, you can just have scaffold everything will be almost ready for, for the development because it's ready application it has its own ready application so just go for it and hear it so make it make things simple for Udo framework make it harder for you as a developer to learn because it will let's say it will it will you know I'm, I'm not sure about the world but it, it will limit your um, skills it will limit your um, skills to learn that's what i mean because everything is almost ready you just you know add the models hit the xml here you are but in django you will get deeper in uh, in code so there are the similarities this is one point the other one is the availability of the documentation in django you have a lot of resources to learn from like you have uh, the documentation uh, in the official website you have the documentation uh, maybe in uh, maybe in the tutorials in youtube uh, you have it everywhere somehow you will learn django um, easier because of the documentation it's everywhere and um, you can just think about how to use Django and you will find PDF files, you will have video files, you will have uh, also uh, the official tutorial. But in Udo, this is not easy because it's just, you know, it's very simple, but it's changing a lot from time to time. You think um, in, let's say, in um, all the APIs and all the new APIs, this is not uh, help you to you know go, grow faster because there is a lake of documentation there is something uh, that Udo does not care about a lot of uh, um, you know pay a lot of attention uh, to is the documentation which make it not easy for you to learn even though if you started with learning Udo it's really easy okay but you need to you know have some basic knowledge that helps you to make it easier for you to learn Udo. So in this case, I would suggest for you to start with uh, Django at the beginning to, to get uh, the concepts, 
because you will dive deeper, you will build your your uh, URLs, you will pick build um, JavaScript um, websites. I mean, I mean, build websites using JavaScript. I'm sorry for this. And of course, you will uh, learn how to build everything single thing. But in Udo, everything is already built. You just get the tools, you know, together. You know, these are the, the cubes get it together but on the other hand they are totally different i mean in the business purposes for udo it's uh, let's say you can think also about udo just not a, a framework it can be also considered as um, an all-in-one business application where you have crm you have um, invoice sales orders you have all of these applications together and also you have uh, sending emails uh, ready to be sent uh, okay and everything almost ready for you but in Django you will get all the cubes together you have all the pieces together to have something useful and something uh, to get work so this is one of the main differences uh, between Udo and Django so again Django is a good start and a good choice to start with Udo that's what I meant by this video but on the other hand, they are totally different in when you come to a real world. If you wanted to apply your or use your knowledge after learning both frameworks, uh, um, Udo is and can be considered as ERP or let's say a framework to build uh, an ERP application. But Django is for uh, general purposes applications. You can build a website, you can build um, website, of course, and when I say per website, I, I mean many web applications, different web applications that you can use uh, Django for. So you, you need to differentiate between the similarities in writing code between these two frameworks um, so that you can get the, the benefit of having um, Django knowledge. Uh, and uh, also, th these are the differences between the two frameworks, or let's say the, the differences uh, between um, these two application in uh, purposes, the purpose of two different frameworks. So um, I would like to thank you if you are watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe so that we, you can get the notification about uh, new videos. Thank you.